Hello everyone, this is a beginner's guide to uh, your communication tools in ACES High, basically your radio operations. We'll start here with the text buffer. This is the text buffer. This is where you receive your messages from the server, uh, other people in your country. It's just messages in general that let you know what's going on throughout the game around the whole map. Okay, and to adjust the settings on this, you right click on the all. Edit settings. Not a whole lot you can do. I keep help messages off. Everything that is on here. You can either turn it off or on. If there's an X in the box, it's on. If there's no X in the box, it is off. So that's pretty cut and dry and simple. Uh, the one th now the way that you type into this is go to your keyboard, hit your forward forward slash key, and it brings up your input. Now these are called uh, radios. You got five different radios here. Uh, four of them are text radios, which types information into here. The fifth one is actually a voice radio and this is the channel you're on 185 now this is really easy to use you get yourself a headphone and a microphone set it up and if you want to uh, talk to anybody on the channel this is tunable you just change the number highlight it change the number hit enter and it's tunable and it tells you right here what channel you're on who's on the channel but if you want to talk to anybody that's on the same channel as you, you hold down the T as in Tom button on your keyboard. And anybody that's within range to hear you, that would be the F12 button on your keyboard. Now these are also mappable to your controller, which there is another video on the Aces High 3 h3.info website there's another video that tells you exactly how to do that okay so we're going to concentrate on the text radios alright now you see number one here is highlighted and you can click on the button now number two is so if I got number two highlighted anything I type into here and hit enter will show up over here and go to anybody who is tuned to channel 185 they'll be able to read it that's useful if you have people on your channel using their their voice comms otherwise known as vox using their vox comms for uh, tactical information maybe they're in a dog fight uh, maybe they're on an attack run or whatever and they need to communicate back and forth you can free up the, their voice radio and just type out on there for what people you know you, you want to communicate you want the people in the country to see it make sure there's number ones highlighted anything you want hit enter and there it is now this is also where you type in your dot commands which again is explained right on the main page of the website now, let's say you want to set a salvo of two So when you click the button, two orbs fire off in a formation that would be from two from each of the three planes. And you know if you got the dot salvo command right because it tells you right there in orange. Nobody sees that but you. 
but it tells you salvo setting 2 delay 005 say freeborn just got into the game hello rooks that's the country we're flying for now pancakes telling him hi Now, as far as the Vox goes, oh, one more thing about this. If you see one of those with that in there, it says all, get rid of it. And the reason being is because you do not want to accidentally type something and it's tactical about your plans into there and send it out for everybody, your enemies, and everyone to see that all channels basically use for trash talk and I particularly don't want to hear it I just turned it off but the, the the main reason to keep it turned off is so you don't accidentally tell them okay we're going to go hit this base now or whatever and they know before you even get there to gear up for a defense you, you just probably a good reason to not even have that on there okay now for the Vox uh, there's nobody on this channel right now. Normally I would get in the game, make sure that my mic and my Vox is working. I would just simply ask for a radio check. They would tell me, oh, five by five, your mic's not working. Yeah, you're a little low, you're a little high. And they would let you know. But there's nobody in here. What you can do is highlight that and type in your game ID hit enter and then you can hold down your T or F12 key and talk to yourself over the radio and it would sound something would like sound this something like this now notice when I talk there is a uh, Notice when I talk, Alert. when I talk, there's my name up in the corner. My name up in the corner. And everybody on, and this, everybody channel on this channel can see, oh, can see, oh, marbles talking. Marbles talking. And the same thing should be true with range. But apparently right now I can't get my range to work. Maybe there needs to be somebody with him range for it to work. But anyway, I anyway I could tell anyway, I'm loud and clear. I'm loud and clear. So I just want to so change that back to change my that channel. Back to my channel. And there you go. Change back to the channel. I think I've climbed these uh, bombers up a little higher than I wanted to. Anyway, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, all the little intricacies of it, uh, which really aren't that many, you can learn just by talking to people in the game. You know, make friends, uh, join a squad. It's really a lot of fun. But uh, have a nice day and a safe flight and go kick some butt. Thanks for watching.